Hello, welcome back to Book Nerd TV. Today I'm hauling five books that I just received in the mail. As you can see, here they are. They're books on various different subjects that caught my eye, caught my attention, and so I thought I'd share them with you. First up is Like a Mule Bringing Ice Cream to the Sun by Sarah Lapido Magnica. This book is about a woman, older woman in her 70s, and her various and sundry travels, and how when she suffers an accident, she begins to lose some of the independence and some of the ability to take care of herself and fend for herself and how that, of course, affects her. And so it's, it's a story about aging. It's a story about loss. It's a story that we maybe don't get a lot of. We get stories about older men all the time, but stories about older women, especially women who are 75 plus, I think that's fairly rare. And so that's why I was very interested in this book, Like a Mule Bringing Ice Cream to the Sun. The number two book in my haul is Kintu by Jennifer Nansubuga Makumbi. This is a book that has won many, many prizes internationally. It is considered a classic in Nigeria and is a reimagining of the history of Uganda through the lens of this family that has been cursed. It starts in the 1700s and brings it forward to today. So this book was published in 2014. This book was the winner of uh, the Kiwani question mark, manuscript project and the winner of the Commonwealth Short Story Prize. And I am very excited to start reading this. This is actually part of a read along with Dee Dee from Brown Girl Reading. And so I'm excited to have this book. And one of the things that I definitely wanted to do on the channel and just in my personal reading really was to start reading more international stories, stories from people who are not centered in the United States, who are not centered necessarily in the West. And so this book, along with the previous book, are my initial steps of, of taking my reading outside of the West and starting that process of expanding my horizons with actual books that I have on hand that I have in my library, which gives me the opportunity to read them. Book number three is Lex Talionis by R.S.A. Garcia. Now, I am a fan girl for R.S.A. Garcia. She wrote two of the short stories that I'm going to discuss on the channel whenever I get around to shooting these videos. I discovered these short stories via either, I think it was either Pod Castle, Escape Pod, or Lightspeed, or Clark's World. It was one of the storytelling podcasts that I listened to. And I, I don't know if it was the same podcast or if it was just two different podcasts featured her work. The first one was The Other Side of the Sun and the other one was The Anchorite Wakes. Oh my gosh. Lex Talionis is the first novel that she has had published if I'm not mistaken and I am so very excited to dive into this story. Lex Talionis is the tale of this young lady who wakes up in a spaceport hospital who has been injured severely and who also has no memory of her past. And so she has to go through in space opera fashion, she has to discover who she used to be, has to discover why she's in the position she's in. And possibly there's a little, there's a little side of revenge happening as well. So I'm excited about this book because I know the short stories were just fabulous. I will most certainly do a review for this book on this channel, review, impression, discussion, you know, whatever, whatever I call it. And of course, you know, it's probably going to be a while, but it's going to happen. I believe in me. <laughs> Number four in my haul is a Locus Award winning book, 2020, New Sons, Original Speculative Fiction by People of Color, edited by Nisi Shaw. And New Sons won Best Anthology and it won a special award for inclusivity, if I'm not mistaken. I watched in Jerry from Onyx Pages interview Nisi Shaw at a book event that was happening somewhere in Canada. I really don't remember what city this occurred, 
I think it happened in 2018. I think it was 20, late 2018, maybe early 2019. And, and Jerry got them, I think like in a room, um, kind of off while the convention or what have you was happening. And they just had this really interesting, this really interesting conversation um, about writing. And I know that one of the things that they are very passionate about is writing the other. And I remember to put a link to their, I think it's a web page or a blog possibly, or an article. I can't remember which one, um, cause I looked it up a while ago and, uh, but I'll leave a link in the description below so that you can find it if you're interested in it. But basically it's about writing the other, right? So if it's not going to be own voices, preferable, right? Especially at this point, preferable. Then how do you write the other without dropping into, stepping into stereotype and racist tropes, right? So I, I just found that fascinating. I think this entire subject is very fascinating because we all know, we all know, we had a very recent, <laughs> I think we had a very recent example of someone who is not of a particular culture trying to write a book about the culture. And just because the book sells well, doesn't mean that it is authentic or accurate or any of those things. It doesn't automatically mean that it's not, but it also doesn't mean that it is. So yeah, that's New Sun's Speculative Fiction Anthology, edited by Nisi Shaw. And number five of my haul is Domino. The Book of Decorating. And it's such a pretty cover. Don't you think? Flowers, birds, it's just so cute. So, and I know it's just so random. It's just such a random, random selection because it's, I guess, technically nonfiction, right? Um, so that's kind of in my, that's up my alley. And it's also backlist, again, up my alley. So, you know, I'm shoehorning it in, people. Shoehorning it in. Um, I'm in the process of, of, of redecorating or decorating uh, my home and I'm using this book along with two or three other books on decorating to kind of help me out with how to make a, a beautiful home that I'm happy to be in especially since we are having to shelter at home I mean I like to stay home anyway so it's not really very hard for me and but if I'm gonna be here then I want the environment inside my home to be as pretty and enjoyable as possible and so I'm going to use Domino to help me create that environment. And so there you have it, the five books of this haul, kind of a short haul, medium sized haul, regular haul, I don't know, I don't, sometimes there are a lot of books, sometimes there's not that many books, but these are the books that I have most recently bought. I am clearly on an acquisition tear so this is the season for me. I know other people are trying to not buy things and to declutter their shelves and all of that. The one thing that I will have a lot of, it's physical books. I enjoy physical books. I've always wanted a library and I am clearly on the way to creating that library for myself. Well, enough about me and my and my dreams of my of my future library. I hope you all are having a really great day or evening or night or time. I don't know. Whatever's happening for you in your life, I hope that you are taking care of yourself, checking in with the people that you love staying safe. You know, the, the surge is real. Take it seriously. And I'm going to put these books down because they're heavy. I hope you continue to take the necessary precautions. It's not over. Not by a long shot, apparently. And so please do those things that, that keep you safe, that keep you healthy mentally and physically and spiritually. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to leave me a like. If you have read any of these books or you're just interested in home decorating, I don't know, leave me some comments so that we can talk about it. And if you enjoyed this video or any of the other videos that I've made, remember to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.